Latitude is a data workspace designed to streamline your workflow as a data analyst. Let's see how fast you can go from raw data to generating insights. I'm here on the projects page and I'm going to show you what a finished project looks like. We have this Netflix analysis over here and if I click into it, you'll see that we have a full dashboard built out um, showing the catalog of Netflix and how it evolves uh, through the years with the difference between shows and movies. And then a simple table down here, um, listing all the, all the different titles that were released by Netflix. Let me show you how we built this. I'm gonna go over to the canvas. What sets Latitude apart from other tools is this infinite canvas to the data exploration. As you can see here, we're pulling data from a titles table in our database. We're filtering it and transforming it um, using some variables, some SQL blocks and so on. And then we're also building the visualizations right here. By having your entire workflow in the same workspace, you'll be able to deliver insights much faster. Let's replicate this project from scratch to show you how quickly it is to get there with Latitude. I'm going to get started by creating a new canvas. To do so, I'm going to go over to Create New and I'm going to select Create Empty App. The first step is to add a data source to your canvas. To do so, I'm going to head over to the blog gallery on the left where I can see all of my data sources connected to my workspace. In this case, I'm interested in the Netflix dataset and I'm going to just drag and drop the titles table straight into the canvas. If I run the block, select it and open the inspector, I'm going to be able to see all the results from this table in the database. So as you can see, there's a bunch of movies and TV shows from a bunch of years and they're all available in the Netflix catalog. The next step is transforming my data so that I can work with it. In this case, I'm interested in adding a filter which I can do by clicking on this plus button here. As you can see, we have a bunch of transformation blocks over here available. Um, you can use one of our ready-made blocks or use our code block to just write any SQL that you want. In this case, I'm going to add the where filter, which is very similar to our where um, clause in SQL. I'm going to select the release year because I want it to be greater or equal than, let's say, 2009, for example. If I run this block and select it, I'm going to see the updated results. And as you can see in the release year column, all of my results have been filtered to these setting that I have here. You can also use as data sources any CSV files you have in your computer. It's as easy as dragging them onto the canvas. Let me show you how. I'm going to move these blocks over to the left side. And I'm going to open this credits.csv file I have. I'm going to drag it onto the canvas. And this will create a data snapshot for me. As you can see, the file is ready to work with straight from my Latitude workspace. Another feature that will help you streamline your workflow is our AI Assistant, which is embedded in our code blocks. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to connect the code block to this where block I have here. And as you can see, the AI Assistant is embedded, so I can just ask it things. I'm going to ask it to give me the average IMDB score by year to see the evolution. I'm going to hit Enter. And the query looks right. It's using my columns from up top. So I'm just gonna hit Command Enter to insert it. I'm gonna click Play to run the block. I'll select it and then open the inspector. And the results look about right. You've seen how fast you can transform your data. Now let's go ahead and build some visualizations. I'm gonna head over to the plus button after my code block. And I'm gonna select the line chart to plot this IMDb score over the years and see the evolution. To configure my chart, I'm going to select it and click on the configuration to show the panel. And then on the x-axis, I'm going to select the release year. I'm going to sort it ascendant. And then for the y-axis, I'm just going to select the other column, the average IMDb score. If we click play on the chart, you'll see that the average IMDb score has been going down over the past few years. I wonder why. For my dashboard, I also want to see the list with all the movies that I'm looking at uh, in the aggregated line chart. To do so, I'm just gonna go over to this plus button here because I don't want the aggregated data, I want the raw data, but filtered by this um, where block. And I can just select the table visualization. We'll create it right here. I'm gonna move it over here, make it a bit bigger and hit run to see that my results are correct. Perfect. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a variable so that the final users of my dashboard will be able to change the year and see different results. I'm going to head over to the block gallery and here we have a tool section. 
This is where you'll find a bunch of variables and a text node. In this case, I'm interested in the text variable, so I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the canvas. I'm gonna close this. Let's zoom in. I'm gonna call this variable year. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it to the word block like this. And what this will do is it's gonna interpolate whatever value we have in our variable over here. So I'm gonna just set it to 2009 so that it's the same in the final query that's been run against your database. Let's see if it worked. I'm gonna head over to the table, click play, and the results should be the same, as you can see. Now that the canvas is ready, it's time to create a view that I can share with other people. To do so, I'm gonna select the blocks that I wanna move over to that view. I'm gonna select the year variable, the chart, and the table, and I'm gonna hit the plus button up here. You can, of course, change the layout of this view. I'm gonna click edit, and then I'm gonna move the chart over to the right side of the variable. I'm gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna make the chart a bit bigger. I'm gonna uppercase this. And then finally, I'm gonna move the run view button under the variable. Once you're happy with the final design, you can lock the editing of the view and just go ahead and share this with any other people that, that's in their team. You can go click the share button and you'll get a link directly to the view that you can share with anyone. You can even publish it so that anyone out in the internet can have access to it without having access to your workspace. Working with data shouldn't be complicated. Speed up your workflow and deliver beautiful insights faster. Try Latitude for free at latitude.so.